well i have few resources which uh, help me become successful while uh, uh cracking the data engineer interviews um, thank But you rahul for your time really really appreciate it uh would you please tell me a little bit about yourself um uh, firstly young thank you for the opportunity um i'm really um, interested and excited about it so i'm um, currently working as a data engineer at amazon for about uh, you know two years and uh, i would like to start from a little bit about my education background and how my journey has uh, been until till date um i did my undergrad in computer science focusing towards distributed systems in india uh, in srm university chennai and i came to the united states to pursue my masters and i did that in rutgers the state university of new jersey focusing in information technology and analytics and my primary concentration was towards data science and data management um initially i was working b- before coming to amazon i was working as a business intelligence developer at verisk and i've been quite exposed to the business intelligence role on how uh, things were being done and how the business was able to drive data to make better decisions and uh, you know make the turnaround grow exponentially over the past few uh, past decade so after coming to amazon as a business intelligence engineer uh, i've i've got an idea of how to deal with tremendous amounts of data how to pull data from different places how to get the business essence and give the reports eccentric to the business so that the business could be the most profitable thing from the data or the reports i get and after that the main reason for me to pursue my career as a data engineer is being a business intelligence engineer i was uh, quite close to the business rather than the engineering side it was, the ratio was like perhaps 30 70 30% towards the engineering side and 70% to the business side and i i i i think i'm technically more interested towards uh, being towards a significantly more amount of engineering side and i'm also interested in the business too mm-hmm. so data engineer is more like 50 50 or 60 40 more inclined towards uh, the engineering part rather than the business part yeah. so that is the reason i was uh, pursuing my uh, career as a data engineer and uh, yeah um I'm kind of curious why did you so a lot of the people who pursue computer science and their you know bachelor's degree or in their um education they tend to go into you know software development roles for example um and that is a pretty prestigious you know role in in tech industry in the US especially is there a reason that you have you know chosen to come into you know the data side of the you know equation versus the software development side i'm sure so before i address that question i would like to give a little clarity about what the data engineer role is about and then how it is addressed in different companies apart from amazon and what exactly the work the data engineer does so and based from that i'm going to tell you why i wanted to pursue my uh, career as a data engineer yeah. uh, sweet so data engineering is a subset of software engineering mm a data engineer is a software engineer who's completely eccentric and who's completely focused towards data engineering mm. at amazon a data engineer is a person who moves data from one place to another that is one of his responsibility apart from that few there are few data engineers who work on the platform side when i say the platform side they actually provide the platform for business intelligence engineers and the data scientists to actually um, run their queries or run their train and test their models necessarily and you know even to store the data even to process the data we need to have a separate uh, specific platform mm-hmm. so that also comes under a data engineering responsibility apart from that there are uh, many different uh, aspects of dealing with live data uh, we have seen most for most of the analysis especially on the business intelligence side and the data scientist side we deal with uh, batch processing of data that is historical data or the data which has already been captured Mm-hmm. but capturing the live stream data also comes under data engineering so for that we use an entire different set of tools entire different set of platforms and that is also a responsibility of data engineer and mm-hmm. in few companies like uber and few companies like lyft stripe mm-hmm. this specific role is called software engineering in data ah uh, okay yeah so at amazon it's just just a uh, an entire gotcha. collided thing called data engineering but gotcha. in different companies it is uh, coming with a different name gotcha. so to summarize this it's just a subset of software engineering gotcha. um, which is completely centric towards data engineering and coming to the point where i would where why i would like to pursue my career as a data engineer is uh in especially in the past decade and especially when i was going to the school i have seen the impact lively on how data was uh 
driving the businesses especially looking from 2010 to 2020 the storage of most of the companies has been growing exponentially not even linearly so that is the impact of data which it has been making let's get few of the examples here how does google run as a company how does it function it's just user data yeah and m- most of the free websites like we transfer and uh, many who offer free cloud storage how do they actually run it's they are providing a service for free at what cost at gathering data so gathering data has been a very basic and a vital element of any company growing there so if it is playing such a crucial role i definitely wanted to be a part of that to make a impact in the increasing society and as with increasing uh, data needs we are specifically tailoring a product to a individual users requirements mm-hmm. so ultimately we are making the user experience way 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 better so i just definitely wanted to be a part of the core impact team and that is the reason why that passion yeah. led me to pursue my career as a data engineer that makes all sense so i i know data engineers or you know the data family actually has a very different interview process versus for example a marketing manager uh, which i am uh so would you can can you tell me a little bit about your process of getting into amazon from starting from maybe application and uh if you had any sort of assessments um prior to the interview or, and or um any interview you know processes including any of the assesses that you had sure so um i would like to brief the i mean i would like to give an elaborate explanation about how the interview process for a data engineer happens and what are the key competencies there and parallelly i would also like to give it about business intelligence and data scientists it's because mm-hmm. it is easier for us to compare it retrospectively mm-hmm. so i'm going to start with a uh, business intelligence engineer for business intelligence engineer the two main things are uh, product sense and understanding of sql how the sql works how a database works what are the key elements behind it mm-hmm. apart from that it, depending on the team depending on the role python is also a little mandatory for uh, cracking the business intelligence role but product sense plays a vital role here coming to the data scientist role we would like to have product sense not as much as a business intelligence engineer we need to have ex- exposure to sql but again not as much as a business intelligence engineer at the same time we would like to have a uh, exposure in the areas like statistical analysis machine learning and time series forecasting and etc um, more of the machine learning side so mm-hmm. that is what makes a data scientist now coming to the data engineering side there are five different or six different elements which are uh, the key concepts here uh, one is dimensional modeling the second one is sql mm-hmm. third one is query fine tuning fourth is python fifth is uh, system design and architecture mm-hmm. and um, sixth is etl So these six are the key components to crack a data engineering interview, and mainly whenever a candidate or even including me myself was assessed on these six uh, concepts when I was giving my interviews to convert uh, to become a data engineer. So um, on top of that, I know Amazon leans heavily on the leadership principle and the behavior questions. So those were also some of the questions that you got during the interview as well, right? Absolutely. So the interview structured this way. uh whenever i had the interview for entire one hour and for the first 15 minutes i would have uh, i would focus uh, on the behavioral questions mm. which would actually give me based on the projects which i've did and uh, which would sure. help the interviewer assess on what is the amount of data exposure or the data in- engineering projects which i've had the first 15 minutes would be the uh, leadership principles and uh, i think the leadership principles again vary from role to role but i was interviewing for an um l4 role and my key uh, principles were um ownership deliver results customer obsession backbone to disagree and commit learn and be curious these were the five different principles which uh, were focusing on my behavioral questions and simultaneously apart from that my interview was very broad and i was also uh, questioned on few of the data structures and algorithms and to be specific about the different data structures which were focused are arrays dictionaries and i was also a few of my questions were based on a recursion as well so that is the breadth of um, happiness gotcha. gotcha thank you for explaining that that's that was really um robust um moving on can you tell me a little bit about what you do as a data engineer uh yeah so currently every day, especially how it is structured in amazon is a team of data engineers or a single data engineer they own an entire product so when they're owning the product what they're doing is they're building many pipelines to capture the metrics related for that product 
and in my case as a data engineer i support my key stakeholders are three different people the product managers the data science teams and the business intelligence team of course all these teams and all these people require data in different formats mm-hmm. for example the business intelligence engineer they want aggregated tables to run their uh, reports on or to make their necessary tables on whereas a project manager he would want the data to be as an analytical form because he would want to see a direct impact on how this data is driving the business whereas on the data science team they would want the data to be very uh, in an in a very optimized way and they would also be looking at historical data so that they could train their model with the historical data to predict the uh, upcoming uh, future yep. durations so based on the necessary key uh, stakeholders i move data from one place to another i capture data i build models i build aggregate tables and i provide the data to my stakeholders gotcha. that is my key responsibility as a data engineer um gotcha that is very interesting. So you work a lot with the BIEs and then the data scientists and like and the product managers project and all that. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Was there was there a learning curve um when you joined um Amazon? Um absolutely, yeah. So I think uh, as a business intelligence engineer I had a really great team and uh, I improved as an engineer Uh, a lot and uh, the amount of learning i did both as a data engineer and a business intelligent engineer was very tremendous and especially considering an organization like amazon the work is at a very high pace and i think the amount of work which we learn at one year at amazon is almost equivalent to 3 years of work which uh, is happening at another Better places firm. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm definitely I'm not exaggerating. I've worked in other firms and I've worked at Amazon too. I'm just doing a retrospective comparison on how things are happening and what the pace is happening and yep. how steep was my learning curve. Yep. Yep. And I think um, it was a great opportunity to be in both of the teams and being at Amazon <laughs> and uh, improving yeah. my skill set a lot. Yeah. 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 I mean, I I know because we're in the same team. <laughs> um what do you like the most and what do you like the least about your role as a data engineer um i enjoy i think almost uh, every different bits of being a data engineer but to have uh, but to be super specific on few of my bits one thing i like is i like capturing new metrics when a product is being made because identifying the new metrics with a pm is a very tricky thing it's very interesting yeah. because yeah. each of us have a different perspective of capturing the metrics or measuring the success rate and uh-huh. almost you feel everything is important but you can't actually gather everything because it's going to be too much to analyze yeah. that is one bit i thoroughly enjoy and being on the technical side i also like pre processing the data and capturing the live data mm-hmm. uh, for a specific data so, um, i mean these two are my favorite, yeah, favorite things but yeah. i almost like uh, everything and uh, yeah okay yeah that's that sounds awesome um tell me about amazon's culture and maybe a little bit about your work life balance uh amazon's culture i think uh are you quite aware of it uh definitely the work is fast paced and with that at times it could be quite tedious too mm. uh well i think uh, at, at at least where i am in my career i kind of enjoy the pressure because it gets me it helps me getting prepared for the future because once you are handled working under pressure at a really good organization like this you develop that confidence and self faith so that you could you know you'd be able to perform well any at any other place at times work life balance could be a little affected like every other company especially when we are close to during launches or when there are too many things on your plate but uh, that's just the i mean by product of uh, having a steep learning curve that's how i would put it as gotcha gotcha no um yeah I mean, no one joins Amazon for the nine to five work life balance. So um, I think that's uh, very accurate uh, how you put it. Um, so last thing is advice for those who want to join Amazon as a data engineer. Um, well, I have few resources which uh, help me become successful while. Uh, uh cracking the data engineer interviews but uh-huh. apart from that i think as a software engineer practice is very very important for all the coding questions and the product sense questions too because each of the biggest successful companies in each of the domain have a different way of looking at uh, the product have 
a different way of uh, collecting different various metrics of a product. So getting exposed to a different number of uh, uh, of models which are existing. And when I say models, it's just not the business model. And I'm talking about the data model too. And getting accustomed to the way how things are done. Like few of the companies use only Spark. Like let's say Facebook. Book. They only use Hive to process data in Spark. Whereas at Amazon, we use a wide range of AWS products. So getting familiarized with the amount of big data technologies which are currently available in the market and uh, how things are done plays a vital role there. And to be honest, I think experience plays a vital role in uh, becoming a data engineer and practice as well. And as I've mentioned, repeated, I mean, mentioned earlier, the six different aspects of uh, yeah. the data engineering, you, we need to be thorough and we need to be uh, good with almost most of the parts. But at least if you want me to uh, be specific about it, product sense is something which could be a little compromisable depending on the team, depending on the company and depending on the interview. But uh, on the technical side, you need to be uh, super strong to be able to uh, crack the data engineering interviews. And for those... Uh, technical parts. Um, what 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 are the some, what are some resources or um, you know ex- like practices have you done? Like, um, is there something that is readily available to just check it on Google or something like that? Sure. So for I'll start with Product Sense. For Product Sense, there is this website called Stellar Peers. It mm-hmm. uh, it is a really good website which helps us understand the product. It, it's it's really about making a good project manager a project manager or a program manager. So I think that is uh, that was super helpful for me to understand the product sense and what are the questions they're looking for, what are, what are the areas where an interviewer is assessing for. And it will give you a few examples of how things need to be done or at least the path or the thinking on how uh, we need to measure the success. Uh, I think it could be a good step to start. And once you're into it, you'll automatically understand on what you're being assessed there. Mm. And for Python, I have used lead code like every other uh, individual. I think I have uh, uh, done clo- uh, many easy and medium problems. And especially I was filtering it with respect to Amazon because I was interviewing for Amazon. That helped me do that. And I've said earlier, I'm going to repeat it again. The key data structures which we're focusing were arrays and dictionaries and mm-hmm. based on the interviewer based on the team they could ask you trees as well like binary trees and forget about graphs and heaps let's not go there and uh, there could be a few questions based on recursion as well and i would recommend using python because python is vastly used as a data engineer to process data and even to run many of the uh, PySpark jobs and stuff like that awesome. for sql um, i think uh, it's been my bread and butter for a while and uh, even lead code has sql hacker rank has sql there are many online sql learning platforms but uh, especially to crack an interview at amazon we need to be pretty familiarized with the redshift nomenclature of sql and trust me when i say redshift redshift has uh, a lot of key attributes apart from the basic sql as well mm-hmm. so getting an understanding about redshift and the key sql about redshift gives you a lot of understanding mm-hmm. on how the how the redshift as an architecture or the infrastructure works and that would be really helpful and for data modeling or dimensional modeling uh, i've i've gone through all the different basics which are available and they could be found on google and there is this website called datamodeling.com and that would help you understand different different data models used in different different places mm-hmm. gotcha. and yeah uh, for system design and architecture, I have uh, there is this uh, course called Educative.io. In that, there are two different two specific courses for system design and architecture, grokking the system design interview. So I've thoroughly completed those two uh, those two courses, courses, and they help me a lot in understanding gotcha. of uh, how the archi- high level architecture and the low level architecture of a product are built. Don't worry, I'm going to share the links and everything with you as well later. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this is this is awesome, Rahul. Thank you so much and for your time. Those were all my questions for today. Thank you. And for the ETL part, I think I've uh, been through Amazon Load Jobs and Amazon's existing wiki pages. <laughs> and again, ETL is very specific to the product which I, we are using. And that yep. is totally based on our experience. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rahul. And I uh, really appreciate your time. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Yong, for uh, this opportunity.